I'm hoping that all of that stuff, you know, takes precedence and I don't have to even think about, you know, upgrading my OnlyFans and I can just keep it simple. Mm. But if you were to upgrade it. <laughs> if I were to upgrade it. If you it, were. <laughs> are you interested in working with like i don't know a, a somewhat handsome caucasian tattooed 40 year old podcaster like would that be on the list of possibilities i mean if i was to consider you're very handsome so i wouldn't be a bad like you're not yeah i'd, I'd consider doing one with you well we have a lot of reports too we do when's your birthday november 24th well you said coming right up yeah oh, about to okay. hit 40 we get along with sages you do what are you cancer okay I don't really know a lot about that world. Mm -hmm. But a lot of these other male porn stars that you might end up working with, I mean, some of them, they're, they're all dick. Not a lot going on upstairs. Yeah. Just dick. Just cock. I can kind of do both. You got and brains I, I, and beauty. And some of them are, some of them are <laughs> geniuses. There's, there's, I know this guy, John Legendary. He's an astrophysicist. Is he? And he slings dick. Is it good? It seems like it. I've heard good things. Okay. Right. I, mean, I, I could I, introduce you to him, too. No. I, I, like right now, I'm... Not considering that, but if I did, I'd be like, hey, yo, Adam. Really? It's that time. And you'd be like, okay, it's that time? I'm like, yeah, it's that time. And then we'd like, ah. but. <laughs> some some of my most powerful sexual moments throughout my life have mm -hmm. been with Ebony Queens. Really? Yes. Are they your favorite? Uh, I'm married to an Armenian woman, so I couldn't, I certainly couldn't say they were my favorite. But, I mean. Oh, there's something. There's some something energy there. there. Black girl magic. Black girl magic. Is that yeah. it? Is it's that fair spicy. to say? Mm -hmm. There's something special. Yeah. Kind of hard to put Definitely. your finger on it. But I'm just like an overall. What about that berry. I mean, there's something about Asian women too. They're different. There's just there's a vibe, a, a sexy Latina. Yeah. I'm revealing how fucking horny like I am right now. You just like exotic women. That's what it is. Women, you period. Like... Yeah. Well, I'll take a I'll take a white. Give me a Taylor Swift. Give me a boring white woman. I'm in there like swimwear. I got to appreciate my own kind as well. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is, is there something about Papa John's that made him walk out during that one interview? <laughs> what is it about Papa John's? Oh, my God. You made me just really crack up like a crazy person. Okay. Um, I don't know. I think it's because I was like, tell Shaq to give you one. Mm. Oh, that's what you said. Yeah. Tell Shaq to give you a Papa John's. Oh my God, that is kind of brutal. Okay, I didn't I didn't realize that's what you were is saying. Is it really that bad? Was it that bad? <sighs> Every man wants to be respected as a provider. And when you sort of like name drop his rich ass friend who realistically took the NBA career thing to its you know, took it about as far as he Who could take everybody it. Everybody thought wasn't that intelligent. Right. And and managed to do a hard ass thing like be a sports commentator. Yeah. And, you know, <laughs> had, had a super long <laughs> NBA career, was one of the greats. They'll be talking about him forever. I mean, it's got to be tough. I mean, you know, it's all about your drive and what you want to do. Your hustle is everything. People underestimate mm. that, you know, like some people got it. Some people don't, mm. you know. But I sometimes think women are kind of bullshit when they say that they like hustle. What they really like is a guy who's got something going on for them. But in lieu of that, no, they'll take I mean, ambition. I, I right? love ambition. Like, cause I'm so creative. Mm. And so if I can throw an idea at you and then you can go, you can expound upon it. Mm. Oh, it's so fucking hot. Mm. If a girl, I've, I've experienced this in my life. If you're courting a woman and she starts telling you about, her business idea or some some dream that she has mm -hmm. and you can actually give realistic feedback mm -hmm. that'll take you far it will it's definitely a turn on yeah because a lot of women feel like they don't get taken seriously as entrepreneurs or whatever no we know? don't and then we also like you know if you're supportive you know like wow i got this idea babe and i can help you embellish upon it like this matter of fact here's a couple of stacks go make that shit happen mm. that's oh, it's beautiful right definitely so, um, have you been approached with any other uh, opportunities that really stand out to you, like things that you can use to make the most of this moment? Yeah, but I can't talk about them right now. You're still plotting your moves. Um, no, I'm just. My manager said, "Don't say nothing." Okay. 
<laughs> that makes sense. With so many things on the table. <laughs> yeah. When you start to say, I'm going to do this, this, and this, yeah. and then you don't deliver, exactly. it starts to make you look like a loser as exactly. opposed to like you bring it to the table once it actually right. seems like it's going to happen. Right. Mm-hmm. How tall are you? 5'11". Five 5'11". Eleven. Five eleven. That's a tall drink of water. I'm 6'3". We see each other in the hallway. Obviously, you got heels like, on. Oh, yeah. And it was this weird moment of like, oh, my kind. <laughs> my tribe. We're yeah. tall. <laughs> Both tall. Tall porn people. <laughs> yeah. You want to come sexy. to the AVNs this year? I'm going to. I'm definitely going to the AVN this year. I think you should You should host. I, I think I should, too. I think they should have me host. He has a Penn Davis back in the building. Wow. You know? I like that. We've, we've got a booth for Plug Talk. Really? Yeah, so you oh, gotta you come by. Have me over. Oh, I would love to. Yeah, we'll do I'll some TikToks. I'll autographs and shit. I gotta introduce you to my wife too. I would love to meet her. Is she here? No, she's oh. like five two. You did fucking dominate her. I like little girls. Really? Heather was little. Heather, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She's teeny. Dude, I met a girl the other day. She got four million TikTok followers. She's a four nine. She's a midget. She's hot. I like a dwarf. She's a fucking grown chick. She's like mid twenties, but she's four. I, I don't think I ever ran into a chick that small. Big ass fake boobs. Did too. you fuck her? No, I wish she was with her boyfriend. Because you could just be like, I know. I mean, that's got to be an insane feeling. Like, how much could she possibly weigh? Like eighty pounds? I don't know, but then I get kind of like freaked out. Like I'm like a fucking a child. <laughs> like, yeah, you, you gotta, gotta put that out your on your lap. No, but you're a very. Like, you want to see this? Because my, my <laughs> show me. Okay, my show girl me. was taking fucking nudes with her, right? So, uh, I mean, this girl's hot. What do you see? Uh, damn, I got a lot of nudes on my phone yesterday. Where is it? Me too, all of a sudden. <laughs> oh, here we go. I got here a lot of nudes on my phone. Here we go. I wear glasses, but. That's a pretty good. Uh, the one on the left? Yeah. Is the little one? Yeah. She's fucking cute as shit. That's what I'm saying. Oh, she's sexy. My girl looks like fucking Shaq compared to her. She's like a normal height woman. She's pretty too. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh what? I was. <laughs> no, I just, you kind of like left us for a moment. You were in another world. I like, did. I was gone. Huh? Was did cool. I? Yeah. 